So this here is a rhinoceros beetle, and it's called that because, if you see that big horn, it's kind of like a rhinoceros. Now, only the males have that horn, and they use it to battle other males to try to impress females. Now, this is probably the heaviest species of beetle that you can find in South America. It is really giant, and it's not just big, it is powerful. I mean, these legs can absolutely push you away. Um, this guy's a little old, so they can live as an adult for maybe three to six months. This one's probably about halfway there. It's a little bit slower. The first one of these that I ever found was a lot more powerful, a lot quicker. So it probably was a lot younger, had just fed and was ready to go on and take the world. Now, something this big actually does fly. These two hard things out here, these are called the elytra. So pretty much every beetle has these and these are modified wings that have hardened and protect the other wings underneath. Now if those wings underneath were to expand, this would go up, go to the side, and then the wings would expand pretty far out, probably three to four inches. So you can imagine that something this big, it takes quite a lot of energy for it to actually fly. And for that reason, it doesn't fly all that often. And when we found this at first, it was actually hot to touch. And we think that it was probably flying right before we found it. And all that muscular energy caused a lot of friction and heat, and that's what we were sensing. Where its wings?